If Trump becomes president again, this country will descend into a dangerous fascist state unlike anything we've seen before. Except if we go back to German history, Project 1933, we have seen it before. So let's replay what happened so that it doesn't happen again, shall we? January 1933, an Austrian madman becomes chancellor. February 27, 1933, the Reichstag fire it was blamed on anarchists, but forensic experts later determined that this had to be an inside job. It gives the Austrian madman the excuse to issue the Reichstag fire decree, which suspends the civil liberties of German citizens. March 23, 1933, the Enabling Act gives the Austrian madman complete and total power. He could sidestep the Reichstag, he could sidestep the president of the Weimar Republic. And in April and May, there is unmitigated violence against Jews and anyone who was an opponent of this new regime. That same year, 20 Nobel Prize winning Germans leave the country. In 1934, out of 5,000 university professors, 1,600 are removed. There are, of course, book bans, not unlike what has been happening this year in various states. The police stick to the sidelines as the brown shirts are allowed to beat the ever-living shit out of anyone who is Jewish or an opponent of this hideous ideology. June 1933, the Kopenick Blood Week. The brown shirts descend on a suburb in Berlin. They arrest 500 local men. They torture them all so badly that nearly 100 of them are dead at the end of this bloodbath. And if you think this can't happen here, go back to January 6th and watch the bloodthirsty lust in the mega cult's eye. Trump could nod his head and command his cult to do the exact same thing. He's already aided and abetted by a corrupt Supreme Court. But if he returns to the presidency, he could effectively turn the United States of America, this great democratic republic, into something similar. Passing his own enabling act, offering his own spin on the loyalty oath. And Trump will love it if his eager cult comes up with their own form of the hideous salute. And it's all right there. Read books, learn from history. I recommend Conrad Hyden, William Scherer, Richard Evans, Benjamin Carter Hett. I've read or reread all of those books in the last two months. Before you MAGA cult assholes call me a liar. Well, those are my sources. And if you still buy into the red baseball cap, you are part of the problem.